You have entered the Chronic Travel Hall. And Baron Carroll, thank you so much for your Patreon membership request. You are bringing back down some Call of Duty music. And the song today is A Light from the Shore. And this is featuring Timu himself from Vintasan. Thank you so much, Baron Carroll, for bringing more Kevin Sherwood down the rabbit hole. Veriquero, thank you so much for bringing more Call of Duty music down the rabbit hole. I am not a Call of Duty player myself, and I'm not really one into first-person shooters, but I've been really loving this music that has been coming down the rabbit hole. Yeah. Kevin Sherwood is absolutely phenomenal with his lineups and what he's been put making and putting through, and it's actually greatly surprising for me, but in like all the best ways of how amazing this music has been. I'm really excited to get into A Light from the Shore because this is featuring Timu, who is just a phenomenal guitarist. Yes. So Timu and Kevin Shore Sherwood mashed up together. I know this is going to be a banger, and I'm so excited to get into it. If you guys are as excited as we are, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more Enter the Chronicness. Baron Carroll, thank you so much for this because it's awesome to see more stuff that Timu is doing because he just joined Megadeth, so he's busy, he's, he's going around. We've seen a lot of the Call of Duty zombie songs from Kevin Shearwood here, where he has Alina singing for him yes. normally, so I'm curious if she's coming back and all that. I don't know what Take Her Toten song means, so y'all can let us know what that is and what this song is actually from, which Call of Duty. And without further ado, A Light from the Shore is about to start. I'm ready to get into it. Okay. <laughs>
my god this is telling an even greater story than the call of duty songs that had a singer with it and, and alina sounded phenomenal but i forgot this is going to be an instrumental but it's still so cinematic and so much yeah. orchestra and so much added extras that are making this such a different experience because we normally we're just seeing lyrics kind of panning in the sky like with star the other wars ones we style. saw star wars style and then this is giving us a little more and it's more extravagant it's, it's crazy good I wanted to know what was happening behind the um, asteroid. As the dark those, side of the asteroid? <laughs> all those explosions and lights were happening behind the okay, asteroid. Yeah, that part, right. And then all of a sudden it was above planet Earth and now it's crashing down into the forest. But like there is an insane brass section in here that is like just pulling everything up to that next level with this with the orchestra behind the band and you can definitely hear Timu's playing that came off right yeah, off the bat. This sounds amazing. It's phenomenal.
Timu. Holy Whoa. shit. Oh. So that was amazing. I'm actually very happy that it was instrumental the entire time. Yeah, me too. Because I uh part especially of me, Timu though. Especially <laughs> with Timu yeah. and like all of his fills and his solos and Holy just crap. everything was just insane. Yeah. Um, I, I was, I honestly, I thought Alina, like before we started listening to it, I thought she was going to be singing in it because, you know, it is a Black Ops song, it's Kevin Sherwood. I assumed that she might be there. So I was happy that she wasn't actually, not because I don't like her as a singer, but because this told such an amazing story with it just being instrumental. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I thought it sounded like it was more cinematic and there was more to it because there wasn't a singer and then the music itself was taking it to different absolutely length. absolutely and like this one it started with i was trying to figure out what necessarily the story was um and at first because it started with the asteroid and like all these things were happening behind the asteroid that i was like oh what is this what's going on and then eventually it crashing down on earth so originally i was like oh the asteroid caused the zombie apocalypse because that would be an easy one to go to with right. black ops but then as it Call was, of Duty? You mean? Uh, Call of Duty. Right. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No worries. Um, with, with Call of Duty. But then going through as we saw like the forest and then how it burned and then the fire and then the ash falling down and then there was a house and then that yeah. was burning and coming down. And then there was the lighthouse, which was then the storm, which was taking things down. But the lighthouse has to stay standing within the storm. Yeah. Something I do have to call out that I thought was really cool about this video cinematically as while it was raining in the lighthouse there was actually droplets of water hitting our screen yeah the effect was crazy the there. effect was crazy yeah, yeah so well done and then eventually zooming out into back into the asteroid so those two books went full went, circle there didn't it full circle and i thought that was really cool because it definitely made me think like oh maybe this is kind of Kevin Sherwood's like love letter to the evolution, to the asteroid coming, crashing right, down, yeah, yeah. creating that life, but yeah. all the destruction that happens from it, but then creating a new. Because if we know about like um, with forest fires and things like that, the ash that comes from a burning fire adds nutrients to the soil yes. to then allow life to new regrow to grow. and a new forest to grow. Yeah and new yeah. things to evolve from it so that's what i was picking up from this video and i thought it was so beautifully done and having the uh band like that drummer was insane yeah absolutely insane and then the orchestra behind timu as he's putting out these phenomenal solos mm -hmm. i thought this was just beautifully done and i think having a singer would have been too much I, I agree because it let his guitar sing and do all that mm -hmm. um, for you. So I don't know what game this is from in the Call of Duty series, but I can't imagine when this song came on if this is like in a cinematic or if this is like during an actual like mission that you're playing. I couldn't imagine if this was playing how inspiring it would have been. Yeah. And the way that Timu went from like a really melodic solo at the first to then start shredding just to show his full range of skills too, but like his control as well and how just soulful some of those moments were for me really caught my eye and knowing that kevin sherwood does all the instruments himself normally yeah so knowing that it wasn't featuring alina this time i was really excited i'm like what so he's just gonna have timu and then now he's gonna be the one doing all the drums and all the stuff and i thought he did incredible working around timu and it, and it shows kevin sherwood's uh talents a lot and why he's the one always pushing these amazing call of duty songs and we we've liked every um game song that you guys have requested for us and it's really cool so keep keep requesting these because these are hidden gems that for you and me we don't play the first person shooter so we don't really see these songs that often but they are amazing they're metal thank you guys so much for spending time with us today hope you had a great time with us but we are now exiting the rabbit hole folks thank you so much baron caro this was great. I'm so happy we got to experience this Kevin Sherwood and Timu phenomenon that came down the rabbit hole. Absolutely loved it. Peace and love, everyone. God bless y'all. Take care and bye for now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Enter the Chronicness. Special thanks to all of our YouTube, Patreon, and Buy Me a Coffee members. Thank you for all of your support.
Thank you all so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you had a good time and you are new to the channel and you don't want to miss the next one, here is a very easy way that you can make it to our next one by hitting the subscribe button. If you liked what you heard on this video and you want to support this artist, then an easy way to do that is going right here. And I think we have a really good video for you right here that we think you will enjoy. Thank you all so much. See you next time.